I said that it was globes everywhere. There's propaganda, but it's the truth. And you know how many people who don't believe in flat earth, they believe in, they believe that we're, you know, in a solar system. They reach out to me. They're like, Candace, you know what? You're right. I have been looking in stores and there are globes everywhere. Like there are globe toys and there's globes in the decorations. And you said that on your show and people thought you were crazy, but it's true. Why are they pushing the globes? And I said, well, I think it's because of NASA and want to spend billions of dollars a month. But they try to say that I'm crazy because I said that. And they still go on my social media and my comments. And they say, are you seeing globes everywhere, Candace? Are you seeing globes? I'm like, yeah, I am. You just listened to a rant from Republican lunatic Dr. Candace Taylor, who's responding to criticism she received after she essentially came out as a flat earther on her podcast earlier this year during an interview that she had with someone named Flat Earth Dave. Now, Candace Taylor has become my new favorite lull cow, so I would encourage you to watch my other videos of her if you haven't seen them. But for those of you who missed it, this is her breakout rant about her dumbass globe conspiracy theory. Is it or not? I don't know 100 percent, but it's just it doesn't make sense the other way it, now that you see it. it. The people that defend the globe don't know anything about the globe, because if they knew a tenth of what Matt and I know about the globe, they would be flat earthers because it's absolutely ridiculous. I, I can't unsee this. All the globes everywhere. I turn on TV. There's globes in the background. There's globes on there right here. Like This would be a globe if I was a normal person. Like Everywhere there's globes. You see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. My children will be like, Mama, globe, 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 globe. They're everywhere. And that's what they do to brainwash. And so for me, if it is not a conspiracy, if it is, you know, real, why are you pushing so hard everywhere I go, every store, you buy a globe, there's globes everywhere, every movie, every TV show, news media. Why? Now, we finally get an answer to that million dollar question. They're pushing globes because NASA. And since we spend billions of dollars per month funding NASA, that's why they're doing it, I guess. Now, the problem with this theory is that NASA's annual budget isn't even half of what it was during the Apollo program, and it only makes up around 0.4% to 1% of our total budget because we've now just decided to outsource our space program to billionaires who build dick rockets. So her explanation doesn't, doesn't make, make sense on its face, which is why people are still continuing to make fun of her, myself included, and it's why she's still coping and seething. But after she went viral the first time, a lot of people pounced on her stupidity, including comedian Blair Erskine, and Candace Taylor saw the pair parody that she made about her and she was not happy about this so here's blair's parody followed by candace taylor's response i'm not a scientist because that is a made-up job but i know that the earth is flat okay because if the earth was round why would maps be flat they can never answer that okay and people want to be like well oh if the earth is, is flat then what about night and day Hmm. I don't know. Let me think about it. Maybe because the earth is double sided and God flips us over when it's time for us to go to bed and flips us back over when it's time for us to wake up like I do with my husband. Like use your brain, use your head for a minute. If the earth was round like a globe, everything would be falling off of it. All the oceans would be dripping down it like ice cream. Okay. Unless the earth is a DQ blizzard where nothing falls out. But even then sometimes things do fall out and they do have to give you your money back. So that doesn't really make sense to me. They're trying so hard to make us think the earth is a globe. I see globes on TV, globes at my children's school. I saw a globe at Hobby Lobby, a place of worship, Hobby Lobby. There is a globe there. I mean, if I were a normal person, there would be a globe behind me, but I have a rotary telephone that's not hooked up to anything, so Bill Gates can't track me. I've never said the earth was flat. I've never said that I was a flat earther. Never, ever, ever have I said that. I did not say that globes were fake. I never said that. What I said was that NASA taking billions of dollars every month of our taxpayer money and funding something that we do not see any progression in. If the earth is a globe, which we've always believed the earth is a globe and we believe that, why do we see globes on all the TV shows, on all the movies, and all the stores? Why are there globes everywhere? Why? Because it's propaganda. It's propaganda for us to be okay with NASA spending billions of dollars of our taxpayer money to fund whatever they want to fund. 
That does not mean that I'm crazy. That does not mean that I'm unethical. That does not mean that anything that a radical, liberal, psychotic girl in Atlanta who did a parody on me said. Because she did a parody and she said, oh, we can flip the earth upside down and have day and night. I would never have thought to say something so dumb. That is completely idiotic. She said that. Her, not me. And people that say, oh, this is you. No. Look at my lips. She had on red lipstick, but she does not have a full front top lip. And I told her that. The red was a nice touch, but you don't have the lips for it. She looks nothing like me, praise the Lord. And she writes skits for Saturday Night Live. She has a fake Southern accent. She's an Atlantean. She doesn't sound like me from South Georgia. And she's trying to. But it's not me, people. It's her. It's Blair. Her name's Blair. I don't even know her last name. So don't you dare mock her conspiracy theory, okay? She's not a flat earther contrary to popular belief. She just thinks that globes are part of a propaganda conspiracy created by NASA to brainwash us into believing that the earth is a sphere. That's all, okay? Nothing flat earthy about that, right? Now, even though she's... Definitely not a flat earther. No question about that. I think she's being honest when she says she's not. Uh, you might have noticed in the first clip that we watched, which is the most recent one, that she brought back Flat Earth Dave. <laughs> and you might be wondering, well, if she's not a flat earther, why does she keep platforming flat earthers on her podcast, which, by the way, is titled Guns, Jesus, and Babies, or Jesus, Guns, and Babies, I think, either way. But you might be wondering, like, why, if you're trying to get rid of this label, why would you keep bringing back Flat Earth Dave, of all people? And she actually addressed that in this episode. So I have a show today. Y'all are going to be so impressed that I did this show. I did an interview again with this guy because I made the Rolling Stones twice. And then AJC multiple times. It went viral. You know, they've called me a Flat Earther. They've all this stuff. Um, didn't want me to get elected to the GOP because they said I was crazy. But I will interview whoever I want to. This is America. So welcome to David Wiles. Back to my show. Welcome, Dave. Thank you, Candace. And I want to say the earth is not flat. It is a topographical level plane with hills and valleys and mountains and trenches. But water tells us that the earth is level. Gee, I just can't imagine why anyone would think she's a flat earther. Now, in case you were wondering, uh, no, she didn't challenge his flat earth rhetoric. Shocking, I know. And it's because she is, wait for it, a motherfucking flat earther. She, she's a flat earther. You can say that you're not a flat earther, but if you keep doing flat earth things and saying flat earth things, I think that it's not uncharitable to put you in that camp. It's like the right-wing grifters who say, no, I'm actually a liberal or I'm more of a centrist when they say nothing but right-wing propaganda talking points and they exclusively attack the left. Think Tim Pool, think Jimmy Dore. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't think that it's unreasonable to say she's a flat earther because she's a flat earther. But ultimately, if you cut to the core, this is her main belief. Anytime we get this conversation brought up, some people are passionate about it being flat. They're passionate about it being a globe. But then there's other people, I think, like me and other people, which I believe in creation, 100%. I believe in a firmament. I believe in creation. I believe what the word says. But we are like, I don't really care either way. I believe in Jesus. I love how she's trying so hard to fence it so she appears more reasonable, but still ends up looking insane by expressing support for creationism, which means that she believes that the earth is like 5,000 years old or 6,000 years old at most. I mean, there are layers here to the stupidity. Now, you might be wondering, Mike, there are literally millions of Republicans across the country with idiotic views. Why all the focus on Candace? And it's because she's not just any ordinary Republican. She is a GOP leader who is in a position of power and influence. Not only is she the chair of the Republican Party in Georgia's first congressional district, but she was a gubernatorial candidate in Georgia's 2022 election. Now, thankfully, she lost by more than 70 points and only got 3.4% of the vote. But despite that, she still refused to concede and claims that the election was stolen from her. And she's even gained the support of other prominent election deniers like Mike Lindell, who tried to bolster her claims. Case in point. We have preliminary evidence that Candace Taylor 
for every single vote that Kemp got, he took her, got their votes, and then Candace got 5% back. Now, these are, these are, these are all through the, 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 um, all the precincts. Yeah. So, I mean, there's a Republican civil war going on at the national and state levels. And at the state level in Georgia, people like Candace Taylor are trying to move up in the ranks to cleanse the party of rhinos like their governor, Brian Kemp. So her flat earth views might be fringe, but that could change if she is able to continue building her profile in Georgia. And given the state of American politics right now, I wouldn't be surprised if she one day was elected to Georgia's legislature or even Congress, because that's kind of the direction that our country is heading in, unfortunately. But until then, Candace Taylor is unquestionably my favorite lol cow this year, and I will continue to milk her for lols so long as she keeps pumping out these bangers. Now, in conclusion, I'm going to leave you with a Candace Taylor music video that I made for absolutely no reason one day. So, um, enjoy. Everywhere there's glow, mama. you see them all the time. I mean, it's constant. Glow, my children glow, are about glow, mama. Glow, 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 glow. glow. I turn mama. on TV, there's glow in the background. Every TV show, news media. Glow, 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 glow. I don't know 100% but it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. I don't know 100%, but it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make Oh, that's it, 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 that's it,